Qianlin Mausoleum is where the third emperor of the Tang Dynasty, Emperor Gao Zong, and his wife, Empress Regnant Wu Zetian, were buried. Emperor Gao Zong died in 683 and he was buried here in 684, one year after his death. His wife, Empress Regnant Wu Zetian, died in 705 and she was interned in a joint burial with Emperor Gao Zong and Qianlin in 706. Qianlin Mausoleum set standard for the layout of later imperial tombs in China. The mausoleum complex follows the layout of Chang'an, the capital city of Tang Dynasty, China. Three sets of freestanding ceremonial gate towers represent the three gate towers on the central axis of Chang'an. From south to north, the first set of ceremonial gate towers represent Mingde Gate, the south gate of the outer city of Chang'an. The second set represents the gate of Vermilion Bird, the south gate of royal city of Chang'an where government offices were located. The third set represents the gate of Heavenly Succession, the south gate of the palace city where Tang Dynasty Empress lived with his family. The third set of ceremonial gate towers are connected with the inner wall of the tomb. Four gates are built on the inner wall and they are named after the four mythological creatures which are viewed as the guardians of the four cardinal directions. The east gate is the gate of Azure Dragon. What is left today are the ruins of the gate tower foundation and the two huge stone lines. The west gate is the gate of White Tiger. What is left today are the ruins of the gate tower foundation and one stone line. Local villagers say that uh, the other line was destroyed during the Cultural Revolution. The North Gate is the Gate of Black Tortoise. Three pairs of sandal horses, one pair of tigers, and one pair of lions should be arranged at this gate. It is a pity that two lions, one tiger, and one sandal horse were lost in history. Hi, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to Go Grand China with Pin. I am Pin. I am now walking on the spiritual way of the Qianlin Mausoleum. The spirit way is an ornate road starting from the ceremonial columns to the gate of Vermilion Bird. It is always uh, lined on both sides with a succession of stone statues. Uh, those stone statues depict uh, real and uh, mythical animals as well as government uh, officials. A pair of ornamental columns erected within the second set of ceremonial gate towers which symbolize the entrance to the royal city of Chang'an marks the beginning of the spirit way of Qianlin Mausoleum. The spirit way symbolizes the passage of the soul of the dead emperor into the world of the spirits. Qianlin Mausoleum set standard for the spirit way of later imperial tombs in China. The ornamental columns are followed by a pair of wind horses, a pair of ostriches, five pairs of sandaled horses, and a ten pairs of government officials. The spirit way ends at the third set of ceremonial gate towers, which symbolize the entrance to the palace city of Chang'an.
here's the still without uh, characters. In the year 706, Empress uh, Regnant uh, Wu Zetian died and she was buried here. Her son, Emperor Zhong Zhong, felt that uh, she had nothing to say about uh, his mother. So uh, he built this uh, still and purposely had no Chinese characters carved. On her way to gain power, Wu Zetian killed her first daughter, first son, and second son. After Wu Zetian became the Empress Regnant, she forced Emperor Zhongzong to abdicate, order the killing of the first son and the first daughter of Emperor Zhongzong. Emperor Zhongzong literally did have no words to say about his mother. Behind the steel, it is the foundation of the third set of ceremonial gate towers, which were covered by bricks a few years ago. Here is the seven section steel dedicated to Emperor Gaozong. In the year 684, and uh, during the funeral of Emperor Gaozong, the Empress Regnant Wu Zetian ordered all the 61 foreign envoys who were in the capital city of China, Chang'an, to come here and attend the funeral. And then she ordered Chinese uh, uh, craftsmen to carve those 61 ambassadors here to accompany this emperor forever. So here we have 61 statues of foreign diplomats standing right in front of the Qianlin Mausoleum. Each figure is depicted in a long robe with a white belt and wearing boots. The name of each individual and the country he represented is carved on the back of the statue. These statues represent the far-reaching power and influence of the Tang Dynasty China. In 1556, a massive earthquake took place around Xi'an. It was estimated at magnitude 8 and believed to be the deadliest earthquake ever recorded in the Chinese history, killing about 830,000 people. Hence, the statues were shaken off due to this earthquake. Local people blame those foreigners for this disaster and their heads were broken into pieces. That is the reason why we have 61 headless envoys now. In front of each of the inner walls, four gates were a pair of stone lines. Uh, these two lines are guarding the Vermilion Gate. They have curved hair, bulging eyes, big mouths, and sharp teeth, presenting perfect images of fierce looking lions. The Tang Dynasty ended in 907 as a result of Huang Chao rebellion. After Huang Chao occupied the capital city of Chang'an, he sent 400,000 soldiers to Qianlin Mausoleum looking for traitors. Huang Chao believed that the entrance of the underground chamber was here on the west side of the Qianlin Mausoleum, which was totally wrong and his 400,000 soldiers were taken here for a month and a valley was formed thereafter. It is now called Huang Chao Valley. Huang Chao left Qianlin empty-handed. The door of the underground chamber was found in 1958 by accident. Archaeologists discovered that the entrance was still intact, meaning it has remained sealed and untouched since 706. Uh, well, that was Chinese Muslim. Hope you like this uh, video. Uh, I'm Ping here. You are having a virtual tour of China with uh, Go Grand China. If you are new here, uh, please don't forget to click the red uh, subscribe button below and give me a thumbs up. Uh, thanks for watching.